Hello crafters, welcome to G's Creations. Today I'm going to be using a paper out of these um, designer pads that are stocked in my store. A link to my store will pop out now. And also this Eiffel Tower um, and it's also got the Golden Gate Bridge and the Statue of Liberty stamp set. Um, it comes with Collection 1 and Collection 2 and these are craft colour um, papers. So I'm just going to have a flick through so you can see what you get. You get three of each design. That one says Paris and Rome, Brazil, um, that kind of thing. Then you've got flowers. And then this one you have Bonjour, Paris, France. This one's very French orientated. And then you've got squares. You've got postage stamps. And then you've got a oh, nautical one. So you've got a ship's wheel. So this is great for all, all seasons. Then you've got this one that's very British. You've got tea, London the um, phone booth, the Union Jack, and you've got uh, lines. So that is collection number one. Now collection number two will differ. So we have the chevron print, and we have newspaper print, and we have another flower design, and then this one which I'm going to be using on the card, which is kind of like old script. And then we have another line, different line, then we have kind of distressed paper, newspaper. Oh, that's nice. That look lovely with gold embossed over the top. And we have some polka dots. And then we have multi scripture. Oh, that's pretty. Kind of like a kaleidoscope kind of flower. So that's that one. So I'm going to use this sheet of paper. And I am going to heat, this is a, my card base, it's a 6x6 six six card base. Um, so I've cut it. This says it is, what size is this? So this is 30 sheets. Doesn't actually say what size the paper is. But it is just over 14 and a half centimetres and just shy of six inches. So this paper pack fits perfectly on a six by six card because you've got the matting done for you. How perfect is that? Now I don't want this to be so stark white so I'm going to use my vintage photo and just to give it a bit of um, color around the edge. I'm going to use my blending tool from Little Acres Creations and I'm just going to come in from the side at an angle just to knock back the stark white. Now usually I would put a piece of paper here but I have forgotten today. I'm in one of those moods where it's just break the rules. I didn't want it to be so stark white so I've just knocked that colour back and just wipe my craft desk over a bit okay so just so it's not so stark white around the edge that's better right I'm going to get my embossing for my embossing uh, powders and I'll be right back with you Embosser, which is the top boss and I'm going to use my favorite and that's the metallic brass and I still need to get some and it's the wow one that I like to use so I'm going to put this to one side, bring my sheet over, get a clean piece of um, A4 white paper to emboss on, and then I can save the the, uh, the remnants. Right, take out the stamp. The images on this stamp set are a really good size. The Statue of Liberty and the Golden Gate Bridge would be great for Fourth of July projects. I know it's a, a long way away, but still. <laughs> right, so I'm going to use the Eiffel Tower. And I'm hoping it fits on my large block. Nope, so I'm going to have to use my um, Fiskars Press. I have my Fiskars Press. I'm going to line up the bottom so it's on the straight line. And using my top boss, I'm going to ink it, so to speak. But I 
also need to do is make sure that there is no I need to dust my page just to make sure it's not static up the right way and I'm going to stamp my Eiffel Tower directly over the um, the writing making sure that my my um, paper is straight I don't think you'll be able to see that, but I'll bring it up to the camera just in case you can. Now, sprinkling over my favourite colour wow embossing powder. I really need to get some before I run out. I don't want to run out. Okay, tap off the excess. Put that to one side. Bring over my heat tool. And in both. Okay, there we go, that looks lovely. And then from my stamp set, Hello Autumn, I am going to use the Hello phrase, the Hello, the hello stamp. And I'm simply going to use um, Memento ink to stamp this. And I'm just going to put hello in this area here where there's not so much scripture. There we go. Really simple card. I really didn't want anything else other than the backing paper and the um, embossing to really capture, you know, to be the, uh, the focal point of the card. So I'm going to glue this to my card base using my good old trusted art glitter glue which is available from Memo Made It just as the um, ink blending tool is available from Little Acres Creations there's always links to those two stores in my description box as well as my own and then we have a rather simple but I think quite elegant looking card so I use the Eiffel Tower from the patriotic um, Eiffel Tower set and that comes with the um, Golden Gate Bridge and the Statue of Liberty as well. And then I use the Hello sentiment from Hello Autumn stamp set, both of which are available in my store. And um, I used the um, collection number two of the Craft Color um, almost six by six um, cardstock. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you again very soon. Take care now.